And 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo shares with us exactly how state officials now are stepping in to help people, even those without insurance. Tim and Jackie, homeowners at the meeting tonight, say they are ready to get the charred debris off their property and are ready to rebuild. Just haul it all off so I can rebuild my life. Hundreds that lost property in the Erskine fire filled Woodrow Wallace Middle School Wednesday night. We have two and a half acres, nice two story house, three car garage, swimming pool, deck. It's all gone. They came here wanting to find out how they can get the ashes and debris removed from their properties so they can rebuild their homes. We want to get the debris cleared as soon as possible, as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Kern County Public Health is teaming up with the State Office of Emergency Services for a program that will clear the debris, whether or not the homeowner had insurance. The thing is, we found is insurance companies do not fund enough to clean a property like this that is burned to the ground. Those that didn't have insurance get the debris removed completely free. If they did have insurance, the amount for debris coverage goes to the state, and the rest is all taken care of. All people have to do is fill out a debris removal right of entry permit. The faster folks can sign up, the quicker we can get in there and start cleaning their lots. Sean Smith is with the California Office of Emergency Services. He asked that people not go digging through the rubble because of hazardous material like lead and asbestos. People thankful that help is available. I think it's great because I don't really have enough insurance to cover it, and I think it's great that they're going to clear our lots for free. The form must be filled out by August 5th, and some filled it out on the spot in hopes of getting the process going a little faster. If they do the job and do it right, that's all I can ask. Again, that form must be filled out by August 5th in order to participate in the program. And officials say that the sooner you fill out the form, the faster they can start working. You can find that form on our website, turn to 23.com. Reporting in Lake Isabella, Laura Acevedo, 23ABC.